Ladies and gents, I just thought I'd um, just got show you this uh, wig that I got. I'm trying to let my gray hair grow out. And I thought I'd get a wig so that it wouldn't um, look so bad in the process. So this is Aesthetica's wigs. Um, or it's um, Avalon by Aesthetica in the chrome TR something, TR1, I think. And um, I'm outside so that you can see the color. It's very pretty. I usually like to comb some of the curls out of it, but I guess sometimes it doesn't come with a lot of curl or wave. So, but I specifically asked for it. And um, so here is the back and the sides. And I just wanted to let you know that um, I added uh, some black right here in the roots and pulled my own hair out in the front here where it's gray. And I added some of this. Um, let's stand back here so you see if you can see it. Let's cover your cover your hair. I think it says. I'm not sure, but anyway. It's uh, like a wand, like a mascara wand. And I just went around the area here and then I smoothed it out as best I could, otherwise it leaves little streaks. I smoothed it out and uh, that way it blended like with the roots here. So if you have hair that match your wigs and it's rooted, you could do that. Um, and I pulled it out, my own hair, out on the sides. Right there. So it helps it to make it look a little more natural. I guess I could work on it a little bit better. And there's the top. Um, trying to make it all blend in. The little uh, wig grip underneath does not match my scalp, so you might see that. So I'll have to get one that matches my scalp. And um, so. I think I got an ant crawling across here. But anyway, I thought I'd give you ladies and gents a look at what the Avalon looks like from Aesthetica. I got it from Rig, Wig Studio One. They're very nice ladies there. And also wanted to let you know that this little clip, sometimes when I put this on, it looks too full up here. So I will take part of my hair right here and on each side and I will pull it back tight a little bit tight and then I put this in it and it looks really pretty the silver does against the hair and maybe you could show a picture later and it helps to make it a little flatter back here or maybe you could even put in some clips to make it flatter I guess maybe the permatease causes that but it's not so bad today depends on how I get it on my head and if I wear a wig grip or not on how it will fit my head and look more poofy in the back. But a lot of you ladies like that. I happen to not care for it to be too big in the back and I also combed it out quite a bit to tame down the waves but it's very pretty either way and when I wash it it brings back the curl it seems. So far, I'm very happy with it. I um, only wigs I've had experiences with is um, some that I bought from the Salvation Army when I was growing my hair out before. And uh, this time, I think I'm going to stick with it and just stick with these color wigs so that my bad, bad hair days I can wear this. I'm fortunate to have hair and and. Um, but if ever I started to lose it, this would be nice, and I'll be used to it. Um, my, um, thank you, and I saw. I just wanted to show you.